within the portfolio, we expect approximately 10 to 15 pages of work. We like to see a range of um, hands-on um, material processes, techniques, um, as well as, you know, drawing, painting. A bit of textiles, some 3D work, uh, could be mixed media from found objects, could be wood, metal, plastics. But I think the important thing is we don't expect every candidate to come with a bit of all of those things. We don't necessarily always want to see final outcomes. We want to see you exploring, experimenting with colour, texture, show us what you've been curious about. And also you can submit a digital portfolio which can include photography, film. You can bring it on a tablet if it's digital. You can send it to us in an upload. But I think if you have made real things, we do like to see some real things. There's nothing better than being able to handle some um, artwork or objects. If you've got large scale drawings, you may want to curate your portfolio into an A1 size portfolio. Or if you are more design orientated, you may want to compose the pages to fit an A2 portfolio. If you're sending a digital portfolio, it's a good idea to put little labels on that say what the media is and the scale, because that can be ambiguous. We, we have people who send some glorious drawings and paintings, but we're, it's, you can't tell whether it's A5 or A1. So if you do do it digital, it's a good idea to put some little labels on. I think it's good to start with something that really encapsulates what your practice is about. And I think it's a good idea to try and end on a high point so it leaves us with a really good, strong memory. We just really want to see breadth, breadth of ideas, breadth of experience, um, and that you're passionate and excited by the prospect of uh, embarking on an education and hopefully a creative career in the future.